These are the world's best Fortnite lockers. I've put together all of the best accounts I've ever seen. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the locker reviews. This is the Pink Ghoul Trooper, one of the rarest skins in the game. As you can see, they've got a rare and expensive pickaxe, but that's not what's crazy about this account. Honestly, you're not gonna wanna miss it. So go ahead, show us what other skins you have before we reveal the secret. Okay, for the first skin, they got Royal Bomber. PlayStation exclusive, you know, you had to buy a code to get it. Let's see what else they got. Eon 2, I actually did get this skin in 2022. It's pretty expensive. They do have the full bundle as well. You can see the pickaxe. Next up is the Honor Guard. Okay, a phone exclusive. You had to buy a code for this. I mean, we're kind of just getting started with these exclusive skins. Stealth Reflex as well. This is definitely one of the rarest exclusive skins. I have a feeling this locker is going to get a lot better than what we're seeing right now. Let's see what they got next. Iconic. All right, so now we know that they have the Scenario emote. There it is right there. And the Neo Versa, another redeemable skin through PlayStation. Make sure to comment down below how many exclusive skins you think they're missing. It can't be a lot. Dark Vertex, we did see the pickaxe for it earlier, so we know they have the full bundle. And then the Rogue Spider Knight. So I think they have all of the Xbox skins, I'm pretty sure. Next up is the Wildcat. Definitely one of the best exclusives in the game, especially from Nintendo Switch. They do have the pickaxe as well, so they got the other exclusive bundle. Oh, there's Dark Scully. So now they definitely have all of the Xbox exclusive skins. Oh, actually, there's a new one, isn't there? The, uh, the Saber Huntsman. Maybe they don't have that. The Surf Strider Intel exclusive. This used to be so rare until it returned, but now a lot of people have it. Pink Gully. Yep, they had this on at the beginning. We knew about this, but we didn't know about the Purple School. So they have two OG skins now. But guys, that still isn't what's crazy about this account. I think they're going to show it right now. And that's actually why we're in a creative match, because if this was in the locker, people would think it's fake. All right, so I think they're going to be putting it on now. Yes, there is the brilliant bomber. For those who don't know about the skin, don't be confused with the bright bomber. It's a whole different thing. This is genuinely the rarest skin in all of Fortnite. I've spoke about it before. You could only get it through a Discord bot. Technically, this person shouldn't actually have this skin. So I don't know. He might get banned one day. Now we're going to take a look at some of the emotes. They got Jedi training, Floss, the, uh, the baby emotes, Crazy Boy, which is still rare. Deep end from the challenges. The other the baby emo. Kiss the cup from the World Cup. Little treat from the challenges. Laser blast. Members only. Yo, so not only do they have a bunch of rare skins, they got a bunch of rare emotes. Square up from PlayStation. Rage. The challenge no sweat emo. The other challenge emo. Scenario two. I mean, yeah, we did see iconic. Stuck. Vibin' vibin' from the Twitch drops. Tai Chi, Unification from the pack. And also Verve, a free emote only Chapter 2 players have. Make sure you drop a like if you have that emote, by the way. So now we're going to take a look at their full locker. And it only makes sense to start off with skins because it looks like they have a lot of them, to be honest. They have the Golden Kratos, the Golden Lara Croft, the Xbox Marcus Phoenix, Psycho Bandit. I mean, these are all of their Icon Series skins. They don't have Travis Scott. And then these are their Marvel skins right here. These are their Star Wars skins. I think they have pretty much all of them. Then and for Legendary, they got Black Knight. So we know they have the Max Season 2 Battle Pass. Dark Vertex, we saw that in game. Eon, we saw this one in game as well. Galaxia from the first Fortnite crew. They have got John Wick. That's actually a pretty rare skin now. Lynx from Season 7. Midas, fully gold. Omega from Season 4. I don't think they have it max. They got a lot of regular skins, which you would expect an OG locker to have. I mean, they have been playing Fortnite from the very beginning. Now we're on to epic rarity skins. Oh, they have got a bit of the golden Agent Peely. Imagine if it was fully golden, but it's still, you know, it's like a quarter. Cameo needs loot. Cloud Striker from PlayStation. Demi. Darby Dynamo. Dude, which is a rare skin. I never see this. Elite Agent. I'm not even gonna lie. I've seen a lot of Fortnite lockers, and I just think this has to be one of the best accounts in the entire game. There is the OG Ghoul Trooper right there. You know, you can't go wrong with it. Here's some of the exclusive skins from earlier. I actually think they're missing the Wonder skin and also the Galaxy. I'm not sure if they're missing any of the ones over the nose. Or maybe Glow. I don't remember seeing that. Fully Golden Meowsles. Mike Lowry, you know, Will Smith. This is actually a pretty rare skin. He's not returning such a long time. Rainbow Rick, Rogue Agent. Yep, Royal Bomber. And then the Purple School Trooper as well. I can't believe they have two OG skins. And the Brilliant Bomber, which we're going to see in the locker very soon. <laughs> it's just a stacked locker. 
Sparkle Specialist as well. Sparkle Supreme. The T800, which did return. Taylor. Vox Hunter. Wildcat. It's literally just one of the best skins in the game. Wingman from Season 4. Xander from Refer a Friend. And there she is, the brilliant bomber. Show your shine, part of the sunshine and rainbow set. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. Honestly, such a clean skin. I'm not even just saying that because of how rare it is. Like, comment down below if the skin came to the shop, would you buy it? Because who knows? one day the skin actually might release. It looks so weird just seeing the Brilliant Bomber sitting in the locker right there. They've even got the Demogorgon. Although I'm pretty sure the Stranger Things skins are going to be making a return soon. The World Cup Fishy. Fixer from PlayStation. They got the Fresh Skin Reflex. Some Save the World ones. Royal Knight. Samurai Scrapper from Save the World. Stealth Reflex. Yep, of course we saw this. Tech as well from Chapter 2. Then to finish off the skins, they have got the World Warrior as well. Onto emotes, it looks like they have a lot. These are their DC and Gaming Legends ones. Then straight onto Icon Series, they got Board Flare, Bring It Around, Hanglu Celebration. This person definitely does all their challenges. Ender the Party, Lil Floaticorn, Ninja Style, Pull Up. This hasn't been out for a long time. Raid from the Travis Scott challenges. Tusi Slide, Bim Bam Boom. Crazy Boy, which we did see earlier. Such a classic emo. I know a lot of people want this one to come back. I feel like I'm kind of convinced they probably have every icon emo, or at least almost every icon emo. They got both of the the baby ones. Laser Blast, which again, it's not been out for a long time. Salome Style, which is currently banned. I did make a video about this, so this emo might not return at all. As far as it goes with the stuck emo, I have no idea if this will ever return. Let me know if you have it. And then Dirt Bike Challenge 2. So onto Marvel emos, these are the ones they have. The rarest one would be the Widow's Pirouette, but it doesn't look like they have that. Then for Star Wars, I think they might have them all. Jedi Training is definitely the rarest one. Let me know if they're missing any. And now we are onto Epic Rarity, starting off with the breakdown from Season 5. Shake It Up is such a good emo. Signature Shuffle, Springy from Chapter 2. The robot from season three, and then this invisible emote right here. The new balance board emote is such a W. Best mates, Billy Bounce, Crisscross, which is getting rare, the dab, the floss, of course, Jitterbug, Orange Justice, such a classic. And then one of the most popular, best sounding emotes in the entire game scenario. They got Slick, Swipe It, Switch Step, Take the L, a lot of people love this one, The Worm, Vibin and Vibrant Vibin. And then for Uncommon Emos, of course, they have got a lot, but there isn't really many rare ones in the game. I mean, of course, there is Kiss the Cub, and yes, they do have it. We did see earlier from Season 9. Ayo, for pickaxes, of course, they're going to have a lot because it's a very stacked locker. So here's their DC ones. Then for gaming legends, they don't have the Leviathan axe. No way. But they have got a bunch of exclusive ones and rare ones. Guys, if you owned Brilliant Bomber, which pickaxe would you use for it? They have got the Minty, so maybe they could use that. I don't want to see anyone commenting that they would pick the Star Wand. Like, we're leaving that in 2022. But don't forget to subscribe. I'm about to take a look at this subscriber's locker. And as you can see, it's looking pretty stacked. Already, they have the Travis Skull, which hasn't been out for over a thousand days. The Rift Rock Bat Bling, one of the rarest Bat Blings in the game. I don't even know if this is ever going to return. The Leviathan Axe from the Kratos Bundle, so many people want this one. And also the Frozen Feathers, which was in a pack which never returned throughout winter. So this is a really rare glider now. And then for emotes, they have got Kiss the Cup. And as you can hear, they changed the music for Kiss the Cup for some reason. But I don't know if you guys prefer that or not. They got Jabba Switchway from the baby emotes take the l so for all you toxic plays out there you guys are gonna like this locker rage from travis scott challenges tidy which isn't rare anymore but it's still cool to see in the locker and then the travis scott rap too so make sure you guys drop a like subscribe and let's just get straight into this with the skins in total they have over 380 which you know it's still quite a lot of skins not insanely stacked but it's about what they have these are their DC ones. These are their Frozen series ones. And then they do have Psycho Bandit from Season X. A skin you can still get, but codes are very expensive. They only have two icon skins, but they got two of the best, Ariana Grande and Travis Scott. These are their Marvel skins. Nothing too crazy. Then these are their Shadow series as well. Onto Legendary, they got Aim from Season 6. Blackheart from Season 8, fully maxed out. Calamity from Season 6 as well. It used to be a really popular skin, but 
I don't see many people wearing it anymore. Crack shot from season one, cuddle team leader, fate. But don't worry about that because they do have the glow, the Samsung exclusive from season X as well. Looks from season A, Midas. Have they got it fully gold? Yes, they do. So maybe they got the gold Peely. Raz from chapter two, season six, the red knight. Rogue spider now. Okay, so now another exclusive from Xbox. Maybe they got some more exclusive skins. Rose team leader from season three. John Wick from season three. So they have the max battle pass. War paint from save the world. Agent Jones. Agent Peely, but it's not gold. Maybe they got golden sky. Brutus, is that fully gold? Yes, it is. Bunker Jonesy. Cameo needs Lou. Daring Duelist. Such an underrated skin. I actually really like it, but I never see anyone talking about it. Dreamflower from season five. Dude from the free guy collab. I never see this skin. I feel like only collectors bought it. It's very rare and nobody speaks about it as well. Oh wait, they have got Galaxy from season five? I don't know why, but I just didn't expect that. I don't I just don't know why. But yeah, Galaxy. I mean, this locker has some really good exclusive skins. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Heidi as well. She's not been out for a long time. Even Iconic. So they got all three Samsung skins. And now we know they have the Scenario emo. W locker so far. They got so many rare items. Llama Bro from the crew pack. Meow Schools, is this fully gold? Of course it isn't actually, because you know, you can see the feet, they ain't golden. But Meow Schools is a good skin. These are the Mogul Masters they have. Neo Versa from Season 9, another exclusive from PlayStation. So maybe they got some other PlayStation skins or maybe some of the emotes, what we're going to see very shortly. The original Peely from Season 8, Redline from Season 5, Rosa as well. I know a lot of people in the community want her to return because she didn't come back for Halloween. So pretty much a rare skin now and it's super unique as well. I don't know if it's ever going to come back. Russ Lord from Season 3. Reef Ranger, kind of a rare skin. Star Flare. Tuna Fish, they're wearing the Renegade Raider style too. Wild from Season 9. Wingman from Season 4. And even the Wonder from Season 9. Another exclusive. This locker just keeps on giving good items. By the way, who's been keeping count how many exclusive skins they have? Make sure to comment down below the final amount. Then they got Chopper, Chrome Punk, Chromium. Desperado from Season 1. A classic OG skin right here. Fish stick, and have they got it in the World Cup style because they did have the Kiss the Cup emo? Yes, of course they do. World Cup fishy right there. Grimbles from Christmas. Metal Team Leader from Save the World. Party Trooper in the Ariana Grande style, but have they got the J Balvin style? Yes, they do as well. Another rare skin, I guess you can say. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This locker is probably gonna get a high rating. Another PlayStation exclusive Point Patroller. Red Nose Raider. Prodigy again another playstation exclusive snorkel ops one of my main skins woolly warrior the free skin from chapter 2 season 1 assault trooper some people compare this to the renegade raider i definitely understand why and then these are the rest of the uncommon skins nothing too crazy right there quickly for the gliders as well they do have the travis scott one two of the ones from ariana grande concert these are their star wars ones right here the steel wing from season x such a beast of a glider then of course the discovery part of the galaxy set so clean celestia as well i mean this is pretty much just a galaxy glider but in the chapter 2 version some other standard ones you know llama corn express nothing too crazy for gliders but which victory umbrellas do they have they do got beach umbrella the fortilla flyer snowfall from chapter one i mean most of these are from chapter one so yeah some clean umbrellas right there so quickly for pickaxes they got over 200 but we're gonna just see which rare ones they got for example the cold hearted from the pack i was talking about leviathan which we already saw. Diamond Jack from the Travis Scott set in Chapter 2, Season 2. The Widow's Buy. Okay, so this is part of the original Black Widow set, but they didn't have the skin. I did not expect to see the pickaxe. That is very rare, and it's really clean too. Then the Minty as well from Chapter 2, Season 1. Although a lot of people have it, it's always nice to see in the locker. The Stellar Axe, part of the Galaxy set. One of the best pickaxes, in my opinion. It's so clean. Cold Snap. The Crowbar from Season 5. The Gold Crowbar, which is clean. Heavy Heavy hook used to be really rare. The Longhorn from Season X. Is this rare? I don't remember seeing this. Perfect point under the PlayStation 1. This is really nice. Sawtooth Season 3 Battle Pass. And also the Scully Splitter. I don't think this has been out for a while. <laughs> then for Uncommon, they got some sweaty ones like Driver, Icebreaker, Lucky, and then the Save the World ones too. So time for emotes. Let's see what they got here. In total, only 200. So not insanely stacked for emotes, 
but they might have some really good ones like Headbanger. I mean, it's not been out for a thousand days, just like Travis. Rage from the challenges. Yo, they got the gritty. Guys, make sure you drop a sub if you have the gritty because for some reason it's not returned. Then they got Crazy Boy as well from Chaps 2 Season 2. Another really good icon series dance. Keep it mellow from the Season 7 event. Cypher Strut. Widow's Pirouette as well, part of the Black Widow set. These are their Star Wars ones right here. Then for Epic, they got Breakneck from Season X. Signature Shuffle, such a good emote, by the way. The new balance board from Chapter 4. Yeah, pretty decent emote, I'm not gonna lie. Bangra Boogie, best mates from Season 3. Clean Groove, this returned recently, but it did used to be a rare dance. Deep End from the Challenges back in Season 9. Hitchhiker as well from Season 5, such a clean emote. I don't think many people talk about it, but in my opinion, it's really good. Then they have got Introducing as well from Chapter 2, Season 3. One of the best emotes in the game. This is actually my favorite emote, it's so clean. Hot Marot the free emote from season six not everybody has this so make sure you drop a like if you do kite laid back shuffle from season nine living large lil prancer mime time from season six this is a clean emote as well point it out yo why is he showing the default pickaxe orange justice i mean you guys already know this is probably one of the best classic emotes in fortnite the music is just so good running man from season six and then scenario of course we knew they had this because we saw the iconic skin earlier but it doesn't change the fact that this is such a good emo and the music is one of the best in the game slick from season seven slithering switch step Take the L, which we did already see. Tidy as well, yep. Such a classic dance. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. Verve, the free emote from Chapter 2, Season 3. Harmony as well. This is underrated. Jumping Jacks. Kiss the Cub. Again, I just can't believe they changed the music for this. That's just mind-blowing to me. I never thought they would change music to an emote. Um, guys, what's going on here? And then, of course, they got dance moves from Season 1. This Fortnite locker is looking very impressive. And I've seen a lot of lockers, so it takes a lot to impress me. But they have the Chief Hopper skin, which is literally one of the rarest skins right now. The original Black Widow skin, because they're wearing the bat bling for it. The Leviathan Axe, one of the best pickaxes in the game. And then they have the Blue Street Glider, so we know they have a PlayStation exclusive skin. But moving on to emotes, they also have the Black Widow, Widow's Pirouette. Take the L, so we know it's kind of an OG account. And they have Jedi training, which we just got a new Star Wars update, so I don't think this emo is ever gonna make a return. Then they got Pony up as well. Orange Justice, again, another classic emo. Verve, which is never going to make a return. Drop a like if you have this. And then for wraps, they have a bunch of rare ones, even the World Cup 2019, which will never return. And the very rare banner from Season 9. I think the skins are gonna be crazy because pretty much only collectors bought this. So let's get straight into the emo. Starting off with icon they got hang loose celebration the laser blast which hasn't been out for a while and even out west which is a travis scott emote this might not return these are their marvel ones and they only have two star wars ones but luckily they got the rarest onto epic rarity they got breakdown from season five freestyling two okay so now we know they have the twitch prime pack two signature shuffle best mates bombastic which is such a clean dance Deep End from the Season 9 Challenges. Flapper. Hot Marot from Season 6. It's probably never going to come back. Laugh It Up as well. It hasn't been out for like a year, but nobody knows why. Slap Pappy. Slick. Switch Step. Take the L, of course. We saw that one. Vibing 2, which is another great dance. Very sneaky. Zombified. The Sip from the Challenges. And even Welcome from Season X, not been out for over a thousand days, never gonna return, and it's pretty rare. But that is gonna be all for the emotes. So quickly for the pickaxes, they got the Leviathan Axe. These are their icon ones. They have got the Widow's Bite as well. We know they had the skin and emote, but yeah, they've got everything. Controller, is this a PlayStation Axe? I think it is. The Merry Mint from Chapter 2, Season 1. The Batsicle from Season 1. Crowbar from the Challenges. The Reaper. Sawtooth from Season 3. They even have the Axe Hammer from Save the World. It literally takes a year or more in order to grind enough to get this pickaxe. You never really see anyone using it in-game, but if you're a Save the World player, you 
you might have this and it's kind of rare i guess laser pick again this one's from save the world but it's not as rare as the axe hammer it's pretty clean though with the blue they got the tack bats from season x the jagged edge i don't think i've ever seen these they also have the rift rock bat bling from season x this hasn't been out for like over a thousand days probably the rarest bat bling in the game right now for their favorited gliders they have got the travis scott one the dark engine from season six four nightmares this is kind of rare it's really clean too the spirit glider from halloween this is also very rare and it's a super nice glider and then these are all of their winners umbrella they even have the season two one which is probably the rarest one definitely some good gliders right there so for skins, they actually have 428. I mean, that's pretty stacked, but it's about the quality, not quantity. These are their Dark Series ones. These are their DC ones. For gaming legends, they do actually have Kratos. We saw the pickaxe, but we didn't know if they had the skin or not. That's pretty good for the collection. Chun-Li, Aloy, the Psycho Bandit 2. Again, it's not been to the shop for over a thousand days and codes are hard to find. They got Lara Croft even in the gold style and then Master Chief 2. These are their icon ones for marvel there is the original black widow outfit which we saw the bat bling for such a great skin and it's not been out for around four years now they got carnage they got spider-man star lord storm aim which was the secret skin in season six black heart oh wait they even have dark vertex an xbox exclusive skin which is very expensive if you want to get this okay this locker's looking very good enforcer which is the secret skin from season five the galaxia the first ever fortnite crew skin i don't see anyone wearing this style though it's pretty crazy and they also have the twitch prime pack one we knew they had the pack two earlier because of the emo but yeah they got both of them and even the john wick from season nine he's not been out for a long time but because of the new john wick 4 movie a lot of people want this one to return they got midas in fully gold omega but have they got it max yes of course they do the panda team leader the new style for this is so clean ruin which was the secret skin from season eight singularity the secret skin from season nine serana the secret skin from chapter two season one i think they have like almost every secret skin the ice king from season seven the prisoner from season seven as well the scientist from season x and the visitor from season four war paint as well so we know they have saved the world eight ball versus scratch they have got the gold style but a lot of people are telling me the corrupted style is kind of rare is this true they got the blue striker. I mean, we did see a PlayStation glider earlier, but I don't think the glider belongs with this skin. But this is kind of rare though. Brutus in the fully golden style. There is Chief Hopper in the locker right there. Such a rare skin. Cobalt, the starter pack from season seven. Daring Duelist. She just returned and it's a super nice skin. Elite Agent from season three. Fyra as well. She's not been out for like 600 days and it's actually becoming quite a rare skin now. They even have the Honor Gold. God, another exclusive from buying an honor phone so not only does this account have rare skins secret skins it even has exclusives too i mean what more could this locker really have moonwalker from season three rogue agent from season three as well and also the rust lord okay they have shaman from season eight while i'm recording this video it's not been out for around 1300 days it's probably one of the rarest shop skins to exist but it can return at any point snake eyes which hasn't been in the shop for like 500 days but it did release 50 times sub commander the other twitch prime skin surf strider again another exclusive this time this one is from intel yeah I'm, I'm impressed i'm impressed i'm giving this locker a high rating that's for sure here's the twitch prime 2 skin trailblazer they got wingman from the season 4 starter pack bigfoot i don't think i've ever seen this skin in game and there's the blue team leader we did see the glider for it pretty rare skin and it's actually pretty clean too the bravo leader from season x yeah i never see anyone using this the buccaneer one of my favorite skins chromium from season four the demogorgon 2 the other stranger things skin so they have all of the stranger things cosmetics i mean chief hopper is definitely the rarest but it's 
cool to see Demogorgon in the locker too. And these may never return because Netflix are planning on bringing out their own gaming division. Subscribe if you're a Stranger Things fan. They got Dynamo, I don't like this one. Fishstick, even in the World Cup style, remember we did see the World Cup rap at the start. Laguna from Season 8. The Recon Expert. Snorkelops, one of my favorite skins again. The Tart Tycoon, hashtag free Fortnite. This is from when Fortnite had the lawsuit going on with Apple. But apparently a lot of collectors are missing this skin because it was from a cup. Wavebreaker from the Chapter 2 Season 1 Starter Pack. The free skin, Woolly Warrior. And then these are their uncommon ones right here. They have Tracker. I'm not sure if this returned or not. But to finish off the skins, they have got the World Cup Warrior from Season 9. So I'm going to rate this account like an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It was very stacked. So make sure you guys subscribe for more content like this. This lock is looking crazy. They have the Honor God skin, which is exclusive. The Stealth Reflex Batling. So we know they have another exclusive skin. The e on glider the fresh emo and a bunch of these rare emojis from stream elements this is definitely gonna be one of the most unique lockers i've ever looked at on my channel but let's just get into it with the skins okay hold on hold on they got over 1100 okay this is gonna be a stacked locker that's for sure they got the dark scully xbox skin these are their dc ones right here then their gaming legends they got arcane jinx arcane vi Kratos in the gold PlayStation 5 style. I never see anyone using this. They got Astro Jack from the Travis Scott set, so they probably have Travis too. These are their other icon skins. Oh, wait, they don't have Travis Scott, but they do have the original Black Widow, which is actually more rare anyway. Clean skin. Eddie Brock, another rare Marvel skin. Nobody knows why it hasn't returned. These are their Star Wars ones. Now we're on to Legendary. They have got Dog Vertex, another exclusive from Xbox. The Eon skin, we did see the glider so we knew they had the full bundle and then the glow as well from samsung we're gonna see soon if they got the other samsung skins but they do have john wick a lot of people want this one to return they're just so stacked on skins they probably buy everything they have got omega i don't think it's max though yeah it's not the rogue spider knight another xbox exclusive i think they have all of the xbox skins they got pretty much all of the battle pass and just standard item shop ones but wait they've got the most expensive exclusive skin double helix from nintendo switch if you want to get this skin right now you have to pay over a thousand dollars just to get a code for it this locker yo this actually might be one of the best lockers i've ever seen i'm not even just saying that you guys can see how crazy it is they've got the dude skin as well will they have every exclusive skin honor god of course we knew about this one mike lowry as well also known as will smith i don't know if this is ever going to return but it's such a good skin i do use it quite a lot actually they got neo versa a playstation exclusive but you had to redeem a code for it it wasn't a pack the p1000 from season x so this still hasn't returned i just realized they have pretty much every skin on their favorites but they got the rogue agent from season three and even better than that they have the royal bomber from season four another playstation exclusive so far i think they're only missing the galaxy skin and maybe iconic as well they do have the intel exclusive surf strider this is honestly not a bad skin i like the pickaxe for it the ace skin from the season five star pack the toxic trooper wildcat as well just as you think it can't get any better they got one of the best exclusive from switch again codes for this are actually getting really hard to find now they got xander from the reefer of friend quests a skin that i never really see we're not on epic skins anymore so i don't think they got wonder but they have got Cade, cypress now like when do you ever see anyone wearing this the demogorgon 2 a stranger thing skin it's been way over a thousand days since this released Oh, they do have the Huntmaster Saber, the other Xbox skin. I kind of forgot about this because it's kind of trash. They got Rey Mysterio, Midnight Ops, Party Trooper, Point Patroller from PlayStation, Reflex. We know they have the stealth version because they're wearing the Bat Bling. I don't know if the green version is ever going to come out, but they got Samurai Scrapper from Save the World. There is the stealth reflex in the locker. Honestly, it's not a bad exclusive. The Sparkle Skull, which is honestly becoming a really rare skin. Not many people bought this at the Ariana Grande event. Event. They do also have the Paradigm, a limited time skin from Season X. This will never return, but it's a really nice skin. A trilogy as well from PlayStation. And now we're on to Uncommon skins. Let's see if they've got anything crazy here. I would imagine they have all of the FNCS ones. I think they probably do. But have they got the World Cup Warrior? Yes, they do. Not been out for over a thousand days. Never going to return. I mean, for skins, this locker is very impressive so far. They have almost every wrap in the game over 500, but we're not going to go over those now we're on to e 
emotes, and in total, they have over 600. But for all, they have 1,400. So there's going to be some crazy rare rewards in this locker. Starting off with the gaming legends. They pretty much have all of them, I believe. And then for icon series, they have got pull-up from the baby, Rage from the Travis Scott challenges. Pele's air pinch as well. Crazy Boy, which used to be rare, but it returned recently. Same with Gloss as well. They got the other the baby emote, Go Mufasa, and also Jabba Switchway. Keep it mellow from season seven, Marshmallow event. So they got pretty much the main icon emotes, which can't return. Rushing around as well. Even Salome style, which is currently a banned emo. And Stuck is probably the rarest icon emo. I know a lot of you guys want this one to return. I don't know if it's gonna, but now we're onto Marvel and they do have Widow pirouette which is the only rare marvel emo and for star wars the only rare one is jedi training from the challenges and of course they do have it so now for epic dances i mean we knew they had fresh which is a rare dance they don't have freestyling i don't think from twitch prime but they do have a lot of regular item shop emotes and battle pass ones as well deep end from the challenges in season nine follow the butterfly playstation exclusive i wonder if they have the other playstation emotes so we're gonna find out but they got good guy from the challenges who nanny i can't believe this was rare for a thousand days hot marot from season six Okay, they have got Introducing, my favorite ever emote in the game. PlayStation exclusive. One of the best. Laugh it up. I don't know why this one hasn't returned. Lil Treat from Chapter 2 Season 7 challenges. On the hook, this always gets rare. Orange Justice from Season 4. And then also pick it up. I can't believe we all had to wait like three years for this emote to come back. They got Rolly Rider. Square up. So that means they have every single PlayStation emote in the game. That's pretty good for the collection. Unification from the pack vibing and also vibrant vibing from the twitch drop i'm not sure this is ever gonna re-release dunk on them is actually getting pretty rare oh they've got go home from season x this was limited time never gonna come back out with the old as well i'm pretty sure this will never return because it literally says 2020 to 2021 raise the cup hasn't been out for a thousand days now which is crazy rootin tootin is getting rare to be honest there's actually quite a lot of emotes that are becoming rare again they got the wave from season two but i don't think they had the season two battle pass and then they have got welcome as well the other rare one and zombie shout I still don't have this dance. So now we're going to be taking a look at some of their rare rewards. Some that I've never even seen people own before. As you can see, they collect almost every reward from Fortnite Cups or Discord drops or Twitch drops. They just have so many rare ones. Enlightened Warrior is from Lantern Trials three years ago. They have all of these FNCS drops right here. Funflower, only 2,500 people have that. The Ghoul Game, that's really rare. The German Creator Bundles. Horde shoe from twitch that's very rare as well the panda llama surprise from twitch also very rare and even the medalist i hardly know anybody with that peely parade from stream elements very rare pyrostack play on from playstation the reboot of friend rewards record scratch from stream elements I know a lot of people don't really know about emojis within Fortnite, but emojis are actually some of the rarest rewards you can get. For example, what's wrong with tuna fish? This is the first person I've ever seen own this. I've literally never seen it in game before. You had to stream eight hours on stream elements to get a code for it. And they just have so many insane rare sprays as well. The carnival bee, like I've literally never seen that one before. The cloudy corn, the college team leader. You had to play a college cup in order to get that. This locker has so many rare cosmetics like all of these sprays are actually more rare than any skin you can think of other than the brilliant bomber so make sure to use code ashi in your fortnite item shop to support me out even further this locker was insane this might be the best fortnite locker i have ever shown on my channel I know I've said it before, but they just keep on getting better and better. This account is only missing two emotes in the game. I mean, look, already in their emote wheel, they have Tuss, Welcome, which is never returning, Rambunctious, which is also never returning, Vivacious, not been out for over a thousand days, Breezy, not been out for over a thousand days, and It's Complicated, which doesn't have a lawsuit anymore. Then we know they have the Galaxy skin because of their Bat Bling, and maybe the original Black Widow because they have the original Pickaxe. So let's just get straight into this locker. They do have over 760 skins, so it's insanely stacked. Starting from the top, they have the Dark Scully 
Xbox exclusive. Arcane VI, which is actually one of the rarest Chapter 3 skins. She's not been out for a while. Then they got Chun-Li, some of the new Gaming Legends skins, the Xbox style Master Chief, and also the Psycho Bandit, which is kind of an expensive skin now. Then they have Kratos, which hasn't been out for a long time. For the Icon Series ones, they have Astro Jack, the new Patrick Mahomes, LeBron James, and the rarest Icon skin, which is the Travis Scott. I think this is going to hit 1,000 days not being in the item shop. Then for the Marvel ones, they do have the Black Widow snowsuits, the Scarlet Witch, which didn't return. And I don't think they have the original Black Widow outfit. These are their Star Wars ones right here. Then they do have Black Knight. So we know it's actually an OG account as well. Dark Vanguard, she's not been out for a long time. Oh, this combo looks really clean, actually. Then they have Eon, an Xbox exclusive, which is now really expensive. The Glow Skin, Samsung exclusive. So the only one which they might not have is Iconic. John Wick, which is probably going to return for the new movie next year. They got Omega. The Ice Queen, she's actually kind of a rare skin, not been out for almost 600 days. They got the Scientist, the Visitor, the Foundation, War Paint from Save the World. This Halloween skin pack. I never see anyone use these. Oh, they do also have Chief Hopper from the Stranger Things set. Not been out for around 1,000 days now. I actually really do like this skin. It's got two styles, as you can see. So hopefully it does return. Maybe in November for Stranger Things Day. They got Darby Dynamo from the pack. Super underrated, in my opinion. Dreamflower is kind of a rare skin. Not been out for around 700 days. But they also have Dude from the Free Guy set. Again, another rare skin, which I never really see. They got Elite Agent from the Season 3 Battle Pass. The Far Out Man is kind of rare again. Galaxy, which we knew they had because we saw the bat blink, but it's still a clean set. But also they have Freestyle, one of the rarest item shop skins from Season X. She's got two styles and she's not been out for over 1,000 days. A super rare skin right here. Graven, I never see that. Okay, so they do have Iconic, meaning they have all three Samsung skins and the Scenario emote. They got Janky, another rare skin. This skin right here, which again, I never see. Mike Lowry, also known as Will Smith. Super underrated skin. I do like this one a lot. And he's not been out for over 300 days now, I think. Then they got the PlayStation exclusive Neo Versa. They got Robocop, Rogue Agent from Season 3. Scourge, which apparently has just been confirmed that these skins may never return. But they do have Royal Bomber, another PlayStation exclusive. Sophia from the John Wick set. She's actually probably more rare than John Wick because I feel like less people bought this. Sparkle Specialist from Season 2. The Synth Star, she's kind of a rare skin. T-800 is also kind of a rare skin, not been out for around 500 days. Xander from the Refer a Friend challenges. Blizzard Bomber from PlayStation and also the Blue Team Leader, the first ever PlayStation skin. The Buccaneer is kind of rare. I mean, look at all of these skins, guys. It's just crazy stacked. They even have the Demogorgon, the other Stranger Things skin. What more can you really ask for within this locker? They also have Kalia, another rare item shop skin. Colonel Poppy, the goat. Rustler, I feel like I've not seen her release in a while, but she's very clean. Grap Knight Jewels, a samurai scrapper from Save the World. The Paradigm, which we knew because it was equipped. It's still insane to me that this will never return, and it was only in the shop four times. Then for uncommon skins, they do have the FNCS ones. And to finish off, also the World Warrior. So now it's time for the emotes. So they have over 1,200 for all and over 550 for emotes alone. They told me there was only missing two emotes in the entire game. So guys, try and work out which ones they are. But they have got Lil Octane, the Gaming Legends one. Hang Loose Celebration from the Challenges. Headbanger. Rage from the Challenges. Crazy Boy, which is the rarest icon emote for now. The loss, however, is also rare. A lot of collectors are missing this one because it was only out twice. Stuck as well, not been out for over 370 days. And Triumphant, not been out for over 120 days. Then these are their Marvel ones right here. I think the only rare one is this one right here, Widow's Pirouette. And for Star Wars ones, they do have them all being Jedi training as the rarest. Booby Trap from the Season 8 challenges. Intensity, but wait, I don't see freestyling, so I think the Twitch Prime emo might be one of them that they're missing. But I don't know what the other one is. They got Shake It Up though, Signature Shuffle, Vivacious, which we saw equipped in the locker. Balletic is a rare emote, not been out for almost 500 days. Business Hips, Busy is also pretty rare. 
Then they do have the Dragon Ball charging up emotes. Fandangle, last seen over 900 days ago. Another really rare emote. Floss, which we knew they had this because they had the Black Knight. Good guy from the challenges. Oh, Headbanger, hand signals. Hoot Nanny is kind of rare. Not been out for almost 1k days. Lazy Shuffle though, another rare emote which hasn't been out for around 900 days as well. I'm not sure why it's not returned, but it's kind of clean. Then they got On The Hook. Again, another rare emote. Not been out for almost 500 days. Overdrive is apparently getting rare. But guys, they do have one of the rarest emotes to exist in Fortnite right now. Pick it up. Not been out for over 1,000 days. It's just such a clean emote, and I'm not sure why it's not been updated. Because I know a lot of people want this one to return. Then they got Primo moves. Raw, again, not been out for over 1,100 days. Another rare emo. Rolly Rider, which you don't see very often. This is very rare, actually. Only came out twice. Then Scenario, yep, we did see Iconic. Clean, classic emo right there. Snow Day didn't return last winter. Maybe it's going to return this winter, though. They got Spring Loaded, which might come out soon in the Locker Bundle. But also Sprinkler from Summer. Not been out for almost a 1,000 days. Switch Deb, again, a clean emote for sure. I do like the music. You can't really go wrong with Switch Deb. Tidy, also known as the Snoop Dogg emote, not been out for over 1.3k days. Tuss, which is still crazy to see. I mean, we knew they had it, but it's literally the rarest emote in Fortnite. Like, literally only people who collect own this, and yeah, it's insanely clean. Then they do have Vibin, and also Vibrant Vibin from the Twitch drop. Then they have Work It, which is clean, not been out for a while. So onto uncommon emotes, they have got Butter Buddy, which if this doesn't return to Halloween, it's going to be very rare. They got Eureka, another rare emote. Go Home, which we did see this one equipped. Maybe they're missing the other one, Welcome. Hang on from Season X is rare. Jumping Jacks, also a rare emote from the Unvolted shop. And for one of the rarest uncommon emotes, they do indeed have Kiss the Cup. Probably never going to return, not been out for over 1,000 days. Out with the old, never gonna return, Paddle Royale. Pirouette is also kind of rare. Raise the cup as well, probably gonna hit a thousand days. They even have the Repaz bundle, which is super rare. Shaolin Sip from the challenges. So guys, I don't know what other emote they're missing. And they have got Welcome as well, so I'm not sure which other emote they're missing. The only one I can figure out is Freestyling, but I don't know which the other one is. So if you guys know, make sure you comment down below. So that is going to be all for this locker. I'm literally going to rate it a 10 out of 10. They had only two emotes missing. Today, and all of those taking a look at this OG skin. Fortnite locker and seeing what rare stuff they have. I guess you could say this is a Halloween special as they are wearing the Purple School Trooper. And we know the Purple School Trooper is not going to be making a return. Because they didn't bring it back this Halloween and it wasn't updated. So the Purple School Trooper has at least one year more of being rare. Because who knows, it could return next year. But let's see what else they have. They got the FNCS Back Bling. The Drum Beat Pickaxe which hasn't been out in over a thousand days. And also the Rusty Rider Glider which is actually my main glider. Again, it's not been out for over a thousand days. Then for emotes, they have Scenario, so now we know they have the Iconic skin. They got Stuck, which is actually pretty rare now. Intensity is also kind of rare. They got Gloss and Rambunctious as well. So we're going to start off with the emotes, and actually they have over 390, which is really stacked. So let's see what they have. Starting from the top, they got Lil Octane, the rarest gaming legends emo. They got Headbanger from Travis Scott. Pele's Air Punch, which hasn't been out for a while. Laser Blast hasn't been out for like a year as well. They got Rolly, Out West. It looks like they potentially have almost every icon emo. Then for Marvel, yep, they do have Widow's Pirouette, but they don't have Jedi training for Star Wars. So onto Epic Rarity, they got Cheer Up, Daydream. Freestyle in the Twitch Prime exclusive dance. So now we know they have the Trailblazer Twitch Prime skin. Then they got Fresh as well, not been out for over 1,300 days. Llama Kadabra, this came back like once, but then didn't return. So I feel like it's kind of getting rare again. They got Smooth Moves, Springy from Chapter 2, Squat Kick, but also Vivacious, which while I'm recording this video is rare, but I feel like it's going to return soon. They got Balletic, which did just return. Bombastic. Chicken, which is actually getting rare again as well. Then they got business hips. Buckle up hasn't been out for a while. Deep end from the season 9 challenges. Fancy fool. Fandangle is actually rare and it's still not been updated. 
Then they do have Floss as well. So now we know they have the Max Season 2 Battle Pass. They got Fright Funk from Halloween. Galific, which didn't return since the Unbolted Item Shop. Hoot Nanny as well from Season 3. Also a pretty rare emo. Hot Marot from Season 6. Introducing So Clean, one of my favorite PlayStation emos in the game. Then they got It's Complicated, which is actually similar to Introducing. Knee Slapper, Laidback Shuffle. Also Law Maconga. No one's really speaking about this emo, but it's actually getting rare again. Members only from the Fortnite crew. Orange Justice. I know all of you OG players out there, you like this dance. It's a classic. Then they have Overdrive from Season 7. Rambunctious, which we did already see. Pump It Up from Halloween. Pony Up as well. Scenario, which we knew it had this. I feel like it's pretty rare to see any OG skin do Scenario. Like, I don't know why, but you just don't really see that combo too often. Oh, they do also have Snow Day as well. Okay, this is actually one of the rarest emotes in the game right now. Okay, this account is looking kind of crazy so far. They do also have Sprinkler not been out for over a thousand days. Square up the other PlayStation emo. Even Switch Step 2. This hit 1000 days not in the shop, which is just crazy to me. Then they got Tidy. I don't know, guys. I actually feel like this could return one day. Well rounded, Witch Way from Halloween, and also Zombified from Halloween. So now for uncommon emotes, they do have Beanbag from the Challenges. Bulletproof from the John Wick set. Eureka is actually a pretty rare emo. It only came out five times and it's not been out for like 400 days. It got Fist Pump, also not been out for a while. Kiss the Cup 2 from Season 9. Okay, I don't know why I just wasn't expecting that. But yeah, one of the rarest uncommon emos, not been out for over a thousand days. They got Noisemaker. For now, it's getting rare, but I feel like it can return for New Year's. Out with the old, we know this one will never return though. Pirouette, also getting rare and not sure why, but it's not been out for like 400 days. They got Thumbs Up and Thumbs Down. These are both pretty rare. And that is it for emotes. They also don't have Zombie Shambles. For the pickaxes, they got Leviathan, the Diamond Jack from Travis Scott, Widow's Bikes, and now we know they might have the original Black Widow skin. ACDC from Season 2, Bottom Feeder, which literally just returned, but this used to be so rare. They got Close Shave, Cold Snap, which is really clean from Christmas. The Ice Queen pickaxe, this is also really rare. Maybe they have the Ice Queen skin. The Razor Edge from the Vertex skin, this is a pretty rare pickaxe. Tenderizer from Twitch Prime and also the Toothpick from Season 1. This is really rare, not been out for a thousand days. The Drumbeat, which we knew about, the Simple Sledge from John Wick, and that is it for pickaxes. So now let's see what they got for skins, but in total they have over 570, which is stacked. I got a feeling for skins, they're gonna have some really rare ones. I mean, they've already got the Golden Style Kratos and Psycho Bandit as well. Then they got Travis Scott and also Astro Jack. And yes, they do have the Black Widow outfit, the original Black Widow. Not been out for over a thousand days as well. Will it ever return? I don't know. Comment down below if you think it will. These are their Star Wars skins right here. I think they might have them all. Black Knight, yep. Max Season 2 Battle Pass. Dark Vanguard. So the Corrupted Voyager came back recently, but this is actually a rare skin. It didn't return and it's super clean. They got Criterion. This is also getting rare. Havoc from Season 3. So now we know they have the other Twitch Prime pack. They have Max Omega from Season 4. Rose Team Leader. We knew they had saved the world because we saw the Pony of Emo. Skystalker is actually getting rare. It's not been out for a while. Apparently, it might never return. Yes, they do have the Ice Queen as well. We saw the pickaxe. A pretty rare skin. A good storyline skin. It might return soon for winter. They got the Vertex skin. So they do have the pickaxe as well. This is pretty rare. Blue Striker from Season 4. A pretty clean skin. I actually like this one. Cameo Needs Lou. Chief Hopper 2. I wasn't expecting that as well from Stranger Things. It's spooky season right now, but is the Stranger Things skins gonna return? I don't know. I know a lot of you guys want them to return. Me as well, because I want to buy Chief Hopper. But guys, drop a like on the video if you would buy the Stranger Things skins. We need to show Fortnite how many people actually want them to return and hopefully get them back in the game. They got Dude, another rare skin, which I don't see too often, but a lot of collectors do have him. They got the Far Out Man. This is rare. It's not been out for a long time. The Jordan skin, the Grave Feather. Iconic, yep, we knew that because we saw the Scenario emo. I mean, they're so stacked on rare and exclusive skins so far. They even have Will Smith, also known as Mike Lowry. Another pretty rare skin which hasn't returned. Neo Versa, PlayStation exclusive. Nara, this is another rare skin. Like, they're just looking very stacked. The Reef Ranger, again, a rare skin. Royal Bomber, another PlayStation exclusive. Yo, this account is very good. Let me tell you that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. They have Shaman. 
Um, this is literally one of the rarest skins in the game. It's not been out for over 1,000 days and it only released four times. I think this is like the second time I've actually seen this skin. This is probably more rare than the Purple School Trooper right now, which is right here, by the way, part of the school squad introduced in Season 1. Then they got Sophia from John Wick set, Sparkle Specialist, Steel Sight, another skin which hasn't returned. She's rare. The Toxic Trooper, another rare skin. Trailblazer, yup, we saw the emo. They got Backbone. Wait, did he return or not? I don't think he did. I still think it's a really rare skin. Bravo Leader. I'm not really sure about this one, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Carbon Commando. Circuit Breaker, not been out for a thousand days. Guys, this account is honestly insane. And they even have Demogorgon, the other Stranger Things skins. I mean, what a goat. Just look at this skin right here. They got Fortune, this returned. Fixer, Infiltrator, yep, not been out for 1k days. Party Trooper in the J Balvin style. This account's got so many exclusive items. Prodigy from PlayStation. Munitions Major, not been out for a thousand days. And last but not least, yes, they have the World Warrior from the World Cup. So guys, I'm literally going to rate this account like a 9.5 out of 10. They had so many rare skins, exclusive items, and rare emotes. I think this is going to be the best locker I've ever reviewed on my channel. I'm actually so excited for this. It has over a thousand skins and almost every emote in the game. It's crazy. As you can see, they're wearing one of the rarest battlings in the game, the Rift Rock. They have the Shorticle Pickaxe, which is really rare. The Lamplight Glider, which is also rare. Then just look at their emote wheel. They have Gohan. Home, fresh, rambunctious, Terse, which is currently the rarest emote in the game. However, I do think it's going to return soon, but they do have the floss as well. So we know it's actually an OG account too. Then they have a bunch of different really rare wraps. The rarest music pack in the game, the battle bus banner. I mean, it's just looking crazy. So we're going to start off with the skins. Make sure you guys do drop a like if you enjoy and subscribe if you're new. In total, they have exactly 1,200. So yeah, sit back, relax, and just enjoy this locker. Starting it off with the Black Knight from Season 2. They have the Dark Vanguard, Deadfire, which is kind of rare. Frostbite, the first ever Fortnite crew pack. They probably have them all. Then they got the Galaxy Grappler and the Galaxy Scout. They got John Wick from Season 9, Lynx, Midas Rex, Midas, and it's not fully gold. They don't have the gold feet. But they have got the Max Omega from Season 4 Battle Pass. Then they have Save the World as they have the Rose Team Leader, the Skystalker skin, which apparently may never return. So make sure you check if you own this skin. They got the Ice King and also the Ice Queen, which is always cool to see as it's a storyline skin. Then they have the Season 3 John Wick, the Scientist, the Visitor. To think over a thousand skins though is honestly just crazy. Just look at all of this stuff right here. They've even got the new goat skin from buying the goat simulator game. <laughs> Then they have Kratos, Lara Croft. These are their Icon Series ones right here. But what's kind of surprising is that they don't have Travis Scott. Onto Marvel, they do have the original Black Widow, which hasn't been out for over a thousand days. These are all of their other Marvel skins. They got Spider-Man, Spider-Gwen, Scarlet Witch as well. These are their Slurp skins. These are their Star Wars skins. They have the Astro Assassin. She's actually getting rare. Pretty clean skin. They got this Halloween pack and also this pack as well. Blue Striker, PlayStation exclusive. To be honest, I don't think they have many exclusives, but they have a lot of rare stuff. Even the Chief Hopper from Stranger Things. Again, not been out for over a thousand days. Is it ever going to return? I guess we're going to find out. But yo, this skin is really rare for now. They got the Cloud Striker, another PlayStation skin. The Deep Sea Destroyer and also the Deep Sea Dominator. Again, these are both rare skins. Daryl Dixon, Darby Dynamo, Dreamflower, she's rare. And also Dude from the Free Guy collab. He's kind of rare as well. Far Out Man, another rare skin. Ether, another rare skin as well. The Graven, which is a Halloween skin I just never ever see. And also, I don't think I've seen this skin in game once. They got the Guardian Amara. The Hazard Agent, I think she's not been out for like a thousand days. Another rare skin. The Hitman, Heidi, John Cena. They got Ludwig, another skin which I never really see. Will Smith, you guys already know the vibes. Hasn't been out for a long time. Clean skin for sure. They have this one from the pack. I think it's underrated. I actually really like this. Night Witch, a really rare skin as well. The P1000. I know a lot of people want this one to return. It's actually kind of rare. They got Peely Bone. The Plague, which we did see equipped. Such a classic Halloween skin. 
I mean, to think that these didn't return for two or three years is just kind of crazy. But let me know if you own one of these skins. They got Red Claw from the Fortnite crew, Rainbow Rick Sanchez, Robocop, Scourge. We knew they had Plague, so now we know they have both. The Rogue Agent from Season 3, Sierra, and they do also have the exclusive style from the Fortnite crew. Sophia from John Wick, Sparkle Specialist. They got Takara, another pretty rare skin, Suntan Specialist, and also the male version of Hazard Agent. They actually have so many random skins like this one, which I forgot even existed. Like, let's be honest, nobody owns the Aeronaut. It's not been out for a thousand days. And you guys have probably never seen it in game. And if you have or you know anyone that owns it, then let them know because it's super rare. Blue Team Leader, the first ever PlayStation skin from Season 2. They got Blue Squire, Blizzard Bomber, the Zombie Soccer skins, which did return. Cade as well, another rare item shop skin. Still doesn't explain why he has tinfoil on his head, but we move on. They got Codename Elf, the Demogorgon, so now we know they have both Stranger Things skins. And they do also have the new Desdemona skin, which in my opinion is really clean. I did buy it myself. They got Desperado, which is getting rare. The fish stick in the World Cup style. First Strike Specialist from Season 1. Again, not been out for a long time. Fixer PlayStation skin. Frontier. A lot of people don't actually know, but this has an edit style without the hat. So it looks just like a Jonesy skin. And it's actually really clean. I don't have it myself. And if it returns, I'm definitely going to buy it. I like this skin a lot. They got the Renegade Raider from Christmas. Hyperion. The Infiltrator, which is an OG skin. Maximilian, Maisie, Mecha Pop from Save the World, Munitions Expert, Party Trooper, and they do also have the J Bolvin style, which is exclusive. They got the Queen of Hearts, which is it just me or do I never see the skin in game? Reflex not been out for over a thousand days, rare skin, the Sash Sergeant, and also the Sea Wolf. Then they got Sparkle School, she is kind of rare. The Paradigm from Season X. Guys, this is not the recent Battle Pass version. A lot of people think the Paradigm returned, but this skin was in the item shop and it's never going to come back. We're almost at the end of skins, but yo, they have Cole as well, which is rare. Cole is another skin I'm waiting to return. I really like it. The Crimson Scout, which is pretty clean in my opinion. And I think that is actually going to be it for skins. They have also got Scout, which is kind of OG. And also the World Warrior. So now we know they might have Kiss the Cup or some other World Stuff items. These are their favorited pickaxes. I'm not going to go over all of them, but you guys can see which rare ones they have. And yeah, they just have a lot of rare ones. These are their favorited gliders as well. They have the Raptor, which is one of the rarest. And also the Road Trip from Season 1, another really rare glider. But now for emos, in total they have over 550 almost every emo in the game. They have Lil Octane, Pele's Air Punch, Inda Party, Bim Bam Boom, the pretty new Icon Series one right here. Crazy Boy from Chapter 2, Season 2, super clean emo right there. They got Gloss, which is very rare. Only collectors bought this. They got Stuck as well. This is rare. May never return. I guess we'll find out. Cypher PK's emo, which is so good. The Dirt Bike Challenge from the Battle Pass. Now on to Marvel. The only rare Marvel emo is Widow's Pirouette. So yep, they have got it. Then these are their Star Wars emotes, but I don't see Jedi training, so that is one that they're missing. They got Breakdown from the Season 5 Battle Pass, Cyberdyne Salute, Fresh, which, yep, we did see this one equipped. They got Intensity, which is getting rare. Vivacious, which while I'm recording, it's rare, but I have a feeling it's gonna return soon because it was updated. They got Balletic, which returned. Bombastic, Bobbin, Buckle Up as well. I don't see this emote too often, but it is nice. Deep End from the Season 9 Challenges. Fandangle as well. Yep, another pretty rare emote. They got the Floss, which we knew about. Follow the Butterfly, an exclusive PlayStation emote. Bright Funk from Halloween, Glyphic. Hand signals, Hoot Nanny as well, a pretty classic emo from season three. Introducing the other PlayStation exclusive. It's complicated. Lazy Shuffle. I actually can't believe that this emo didn't return for like a thousand days. I don't know why, but it's kind of nice. They got Lil Treat from the challenges, Llama Conga as well. Members from Fortnite Crew. On the hook, which is actually a pretty rare emo again. They got Overdrive. No way they have my favorite emote pick it up from season 9. Like, this is literally my favorite emote. The music is so good. The dance is so good. And it's traversal too. Yo, if anyone from Epic is watching this video, please try and bring back pick it up. Like, it's just the best emote. Everyone's gonna buy it if they don't already have it.
They got Pony up from Season X, Ribbon Dancer, Raw which returned, Rolly Rider, another rare emote I hardly see, Snow Day from Christmas, Spyglass, Sprinkler as well. I can't believe this hasn't been out for a thousand days. They got Square Up, the other PlayStation emote, Switch Step, Taco Time, Tidy as well, not been out for like 1,400 days. Maybe it'll never return. I don't know. Tuss, this has to be one of the most iconic emotes in Fortnite. Like we all know how rare Tuss is. And if it ever returns, it's still going to go down in Fortnite history. So now we're on to uncommon emotes. They got Breezy, Butter Buddy from Halloween, Go Home. So we need to find out if they have Welcome, which is the other one. They got Jumping Jacks, Kiss the Cut from the World Cup, May never return, not been out for over 1,100 days. Let me know if you have this. They got out with the old, we know this is never going to return, so it's going to become really rare in the future. Paddle Royale, Raise the Cup, which may never return again. And yes, they do have Welcome, the other Season X emo. So that is going to be all. This locker is definitely getting a 10 out of 10. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you've dropped a like, dropped the sub. Wait, is this emo broken? I don't think it's supposed to look like that. I'm about to review this fully golden Peely Fortnite locker. Fully golden Peely is one of the rarest battle pass skins in the game. And normally people who have this skin have insane accounts. In fact, the account level for this locker is actually over 4,300. So you know for a fact they're going to have a lot of items and rare stuff. But let's get straight into it. As you can see, they have got the headbanger emote scenario. So now we know they have the iconic and vibrant vibing from the Twitch drop. As well as that, they have all three of the German bundles, which are really rare. Then the plasma carrot from Refer a Friend, the wildcat glider, and also this rap, which I've never even seen this before. Is it rare? But let's get straight into it with the emotes, then get onto skins. They actually have over 520, so almost every emote in the game. Make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe if you're new, by the way, because this account is looking a bit crazy. They have Ender Party, Pull Up, which hasn't been out for a while, Rage, Crazy Boy, it still hasn't returned even though it was updated, such a good emote. Dynamic Shuffle, Frolic is good. Gloss as well, you guys should already know by now that this is one of the rarest item shop emotes in the game. Go Mufasa, how sweet. This emote here is actually getting rare as well, I don't think people realise that. They got Laser Blast, Out West hasn't been out for a long time, Rushing Around. Stuck as well, I don't even know if this is ever going to return. Triumphant is getting pretty rare, such a good dance. They got Wanna See Me and I think they have like every Icon series emote. These are all of their Marvel ones right here. I don't think they have Widow's Pirouette. No, they don't. But they have got Jedi Training, which is the rarest Star Wars emote in the game from the challenges. Booby Trap from the Season 8 challenges. Yo, this matches Gold Peely really well. They got Breakdown, Season 5 Battle Pass, Cyberdyne Salute. This is actually pretty rare as well. Not been out for like 500 days. They got Groove Jam. Intensity is pretty rare. Pop Lock, such a classic, good emo, reanimated. They got Shake It Up. Signature Shuffle, has this been out for a while or did it return recently? Smooth Moves did return recently though, You Can't See Me. Vivacious, which while I'm recording, it's really rare, but it's not been out for over 1,000 days now, so it should be returning soon. They got Backstroke, which just returned. Valetic is pretty rare though, good emo for sure. Bombastic, Bunny Hop, Buckle Up, not been out for like 300 days, pretty rare at this point. Business Hips, Busy, Cartwheeling, Clean Groove, Chicken as well, <laughs> I don't even know about this one. Cluck Strut, Criss Cross is a clean emo. Deep End from the Season 9 Challenges, it's not bad. Dream Feet, Fancy Feet hasn't been out for almost 500 days, I don't know why guys, I wish I knew why, but I just don't. Fancy footwork though, so this emote hasn't been out for over 300 days and I don't think people realise that it's actually pretty rare, so check if you have this. Then they do have Fandangle as well from Season 8, still not been updated, but they've used it in many trailers. Flux, Flippin' Incredible, Flapper, Fierce. They got Hand Signals, also pretty rare, and Headbanger not been out for almost 500 days now. They got Hitchhiker, Haunt Marot from Season 6. It's complicated, Island Vibes, introducing PlayStation 1. The Hype from Season 4, I know a lot of people like this. It's a classic emo. This one from Season 7, I don't think I've seen it come to the shop for a long time. Leaping, Llama Congress, pretty rare. Little Carpet Ride actually has only been in the shop twice, and this matches Golden Peely really well. But wait guys, why is their hands not on the carpet? 
Is this emote broken or is this skin broken? Like, what's going on, guys? What This emote, I'm pretty sure, looks glitched right now. I'm almost certain that the hands of the skin are supposed to be at the end of the carpet. This looks really odd. Like, what is actually going on? Does anyone know the answer for this? Yo, let me know in the comments. They have got on the hook, though, from Season 5. Not been out for a long time. Overdrive, Primo moves, Ribbon Dancer, such a clean emote. Rolly Rider 2. This is one of the rarest emotes in the game right now. Recently just hit 400 days and not in the shop as well they got scenario introducing season eight from the iconic set we already knew about it clean emo slick snow day as well super rare didn't return last winter my guess is that it's probably gonna return this january coming up they got spike it spring loaded is pretty rare square up from playstation unification clean emo the original vibe in work it whirlwind also hasn't been out for a long time and for uncommon emotes they got butter buddy distracted eureka is also actually a rare emo it kind of looks clean with feely too go home from season x and never returning Hang on, which is pretty rare. Jumping jacks. Kiss the cup as well. Not been out for over a thousand days. Look how good this looks with the golden peely. I mean, it's kind of glitchy, but it looks good. They have out with the old, never returning. Paddle Royale is pretty rare. Pirouette. Race the cup, also pretty rare. Sweaty rotation. Tea time only came to the shop twice. Again, also matches golden peely. Very nice. Team space. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And they do also have the the other season x emo welcome to so they have both yo that is crazy stacked on emotes they had almost every rare one so without wasting any time let's get straight onto skins and they do have over 470 from the top they got green arrow the xbox marcus the playstation alloy such a clean skin kratos as well also in the golden style the xbox master chief no travis scott which has kind of surprised me then these are their marvel ones right here they have got gambit which didn't return also scarlet witch she didn't return too these are their star wars ones john wick hasn't been out for a long time but it's probably gonna return in 2023 for the new movie they got max omega oh wait never mind it's not max but they do have the ice king the visitor the scientist gold peely i just can't believe how rare this skin is you know it's so clean and you had to get to level 350 to get it fully golden so you, you had to be grinding like not many people got this then they got astro assassin it should have a red style but it's not being released yet honor guard as well another exclusive skin so not only does it have so many rare emotes but it's looking pretty good on skins as well iconic which we did see the emote for meow schools obviously it's in fully gold and they do have mike lowry also known as will smith I'm not sure why this skin hasn't returned, but it's actually getting rare. They got Nathan Drake from Uncharted, Nitro Jerry, the Tech Peely and the original Peely. They got the new Phantasm skin as well. I think a lot of people like this one. It seems to be pretty popular right now. Then they got Redline from the Battle Pass. Sarah Connor hasn't been out for a long time. Sky in fully gold. I actually think Sky is pretty underrated. I like this skin. Surf Strider, another exclusive. Not bad, not bad. Versa, but yo, they do actually have Wildcat as well. Obviously, Wildcat isn't rare, but it is very clean to see in a locker. One of the best exclusives. They do have Xander as well from the Refer a Friend challenges. I do actually have this skin now. I got it a couple days ago. Wait, they have Cypress Nell. This is one of the rarest item shop skins in the game. You actually could have unlocked this through a Nintendo Switch Cup, and then it came to the shop, but it's just never returned since then. And hardly anybody has this. Like, when do you actually ever see the skin in game? I don't think I've ever seen it once. They got Desperado, which is an OG skin getting rare. Fish stick, and they do have the World Cup style. They got the pink ghoul trooper from Wish. Jet, the new Sid skin, not too bad. And then for uncommon skins, they got the Anarchy Agent. This has to be rare. I never see this. The FNCS Champion and the Seeker. Then they got the Rainbow Racer, Victor Elite, and also the Champion. So this is how the little carpet ride emote looks like with Will Smith. But then with Agent Peely, it looks like this. I'm so confused. Why is this emote broken with the golden Peely? I have no idea why, but I'm rating this account a 9.67 out of 10. It is super stacked. So many rare emos. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.